From the first nightfall on Christmas Eve until dawn on Christmas morning, one stout and elderly man, armed only with a magic sleigh and eight flying reindeer, must deliver toys to children in every household in the world that believes in him. With the population more than seven billion, is this physically possible? And what if Santa Claus actually existed? To find out, let's start with the right conditions. There are approximately 1.6 billion households worldwide. Since the Earth has about 25 million square miles of habitable land, the average distance between any two households is approximately 0.138 miles. And, at least in the United States, Santa visits 31% of households in any given year. So, what this means, altogether, is that Santa has to deliver presents to right around 500 million households and he has 31 hours of Christmas to work with, thanks to the different time zones. Santa has 223 microseconds to park, hop out of the sleigh, jump down the chimney, fill the stockings, distribute the remaining presents under the tree, eat whatever snacks that have been left, get back up the chimney, back into the sleigh, and move on to the next house. Sound impossible? Maybe for a normal human with conventional technology, sure. But I have faith in Santa, and so should you. In what might be the easiest solution, Santa could use wormholes. Wormholes are like tunnels through space-time. Shortcuts that would allow Santa to travel enormous distances so quickly that his efforts would be indistinguishable from magic. Without using wormholes, Santa would have to travel near the speed of light to deliver his gifts in one night. That's faster than a meteor hitting the atmosphere, and way faster than NASA's space shuttle as it began its return to Earth. The entire reindeer team will be vaporized within 4.26 thousandths of a second. Santa, meanwhile, will be subjected to centrifugal forces 17,500 times greater than gravity and would be pinned to the back of his sleigh. He obviously has on iron shield of charged particles held together by a magnetic field surrounding his entire sleigh. And why wouldn't he? Surely his elves are just as good as NASA engineers, right? Yes, we've all been to the zoo to see for ourselves that reindeer don't have wings and most certainly cannot fly. Getting reindeer to fly would have to incorporate some sort of anti-gravity device. But there's dark energy, which is a repulsive form of gravity that was discovered in 1998. It doesn't quite operate in the way we'd hope anti-gravity would, but work with me here, all right? Maybe when scientists fully understand it, it'll lead to Rudolph and his red nose. The payload on the sleigh adds another interesting element. Assuming that each child gets nothing more than a medium-sized Lego set, the sleigh is carrying 321,300 tons, not counting Santa, who is invariably described as overweight. On land, conventional reindeer can pull no more than 136 kilograms. Even granting that flying reindeer could pull 10 times the normal amount, we cannot do the job with 8 or even 9 we'd need 214,200 reindeer. How could Santa get into all those houses so quietly and never leave footprints? Stealthy isn't exactly the picture you have in mind when you think of an overweight elderly man traveling all over the world and wearing boots. Yet if Santa can land, there's no reason he couldn't be placed into the house from outside via a mechanical rig attached to the sleigh. Whether through a door, window, chimney, or other device, a robotic arm with Santa capacity could easily handle this. This is a tall order for any human, so there's no reason to believe Santa hasn't instituted a bit of technological Christmas magic. What about the eating of snacks? If every one of the 500 million homes with good children were to put out a single chocolate chip cookie with an 8-ounce glass of 2% milk, the total calories would be approximately 225 calories. Making some calculations, we find out that Santa would gain 14,610,389 kilograms, which is about 
16,071.4 tons. Maybe Santa doesn't actually eat the cookies, but rather uses them to power his whole operation. In this stressful time, it's better not to dwell on the engineering challenges and enjoy the magic of the season. No matter what holiday you celebrate, I hope they're a joyous time for you and in the spirit of Santa Claus, which transcends all cultures, Merry Christmas to all and may peace and joy be with you.